Alright, so I've logged back in here, we're still at the Northeast Airfield, and uh, it's a new day, so I'm just going to check uh, one more time here for some epic military loot, and uh, then we'll move on. Uh, where I think I'll head next is probably right across the map uh, back west, and uh, we'll head towards the Northwest Airfield, the uh, big epic uh, mecca for people wanting the uh, really cool gear in this in this game, but uh, let's check it out. Sounds like I've uh, aggroed a zombie down there, but uh, we'll worry about that if he comes up the ladder. What do we got here? A little bit of uh, food. Don't really need that, but uh, whatevs. We'll drink some of this stuff that we've got already. And let's just deal with this zombie. Done. Nothing on him. Okay, what else have we got in here? So I'm just going to be a little bit careful because I don't know if there could be some people in here. Um, just get the old AKM out. Just in case. Sometimes you get people popping in as well. Spawning in. In an area like this. Uh, just some more soda. So look down the bottom here. Uh, what is that? M240. 100 rounds, 200 rounds for M249. I guess that's for an LMG, which I haven't got. So, uh, let's just head out here. Some dead zombies. Uh, check out these sheds, and then we'll have a look at the main hangars. It would be epic if I found an LMG to go with that ammo back there. There's nothing in here. Tin cans. <laughs> Not having uh, real great luck here. Some of those uh, newspapers again. All right, so let's try and get past these zombies. This one or two here. It's not nearly as bad as the Northwest Airfield in terms of the number of zombies you get spawned in. Just creep past these. After a while in this game, you do kind of work out the distances that you can safely uh, run or crouch uh, away from the zombies without attracting them. Sometimes I get a bit lazy and slack and just aggro the zombies anyway and then shoot them. But I don't want to give away my position just in case there is someone else in the area here. Okay, we've got some more painkillers, shotgun rounds and uh, bandages. None of which is going to be particularly useful. What do we got here? Is that an AKM round? Nope. Stenag. Hmm. Is there anything down the end? Yeah, we do have something down there. Let's check it out. Looks like a gun. Please tell me it's something good. Oh no. I was imagining things. It's a heat pack there. Looks like uh, ACP rounds. Hmm. Got a bit excited there for a second. There should be more loot spawns than just the corners of these places. It's so big. You actually get more gear in the air traffic control towers often. Ah, oh, flares, serious? Ah, what have we here? An AKS with Cobra Sight. Hmm. The trouble is... Let's... Hmm. I don't think I've got any ammo for that thing. That's the problem. Whereas I've got quite a bit for the AKM at the moment. And the AKM actually takes a heavy uh, caliber of uh, round. Let's have a look in this. Shed here, we've got a revolver. Should I swap the Makarov for the revolver? 
kill us, I should. And nothing particularly good there. Uh, I had a whole heap of macro of ammo, but I really do like the revolver in terms of stopping power. Like it's a one-hit kill to the chest as well as the head, whereas the macro is, I think, like a two-hit kill to the chest of a zombie. So you can get a little bit lazy with the uh, with the revolver. And nothing new has spawned in. It's been it hasn't been long enough really. But we've got that ammo, I might just grab that. I don't think there was any over here, it was just the uh, shotgun rounds. Now I could potentially like keep coming back and farming this area or like waiting waiting, you know, twenty minutes and then coming back again until I get something, you know, exactly what I want. Or a higher chance of getting something. Or, or, am I lagging here? I don't know. But uh I'm not gonna do that. We've hit we've hit the airfield like uh, what is it, three times now. I think it's time to move on, so let's um Just get past these zombies. I don't think there was any more revolver ammo back in the control tower, was there? We'll have a quick look through here once again, though, just in case we get some more stuff spawning in. Oh no, now I've aggroed a zombie. Great. Let's uh, take out a few of these zombies here in the control tower entrance. This is really the safest spot to do it, I think. Alright, so we're gonna get some zombies coming now. Yeah. AKM brings all the zombies to the yard. <laughs> Let's take out some of these dudes. Uh, this thing is pretty powerful actually on zombies. Probably didn't need to reload there. People are going to yell at me in the comments now for this video. Um, yes. Is that it? There's a couple of zombies right down the end there, I think. But yeah, there's only a handful in this airfield, that's for sure. What was that? Um, did I check this spot? Oh, that's still the same. Yeah, I'm not getting anything new here. Just wishful thinking. Oh, I've got a... Did I pick that up before? That can of... Can of food. Let's maybe grab that bandage since I can fit it in now. Uh, I don't really need that. I've got all that cooked meat anyway. And we're on full uh, blood health level. Uh, let's just grab that bandage as well. I'm not really expecting to need all these bandages, so, but... Be prepared is a motto you could uh, apply to this situation. Okay, so last time I was here, I'm pretty sure there was some uh, cows in the field. I wonder if we've got some more that we could, uh, although I don't know if I can really fit it in, to be honest. Let's run by one more time here on the way out. Yeah, that's still the same. I don't really want to linger too long here anyway. It'd be cool if we found uh, like a chopper that we could repair in this area. Uh, I believe that they sometimes do spawn here. From what I've read in the forums. DZ mod forums. Which is a great place to go by the way if you need information about DZ. How to install it. Um, 
basically anything you could ever ask. Um, okay. Alright, let's leave. It's time to leave. Let's maybe take out this zombie. He's probably gonna spot us in a second or hear us running past. Nope. Maybe this one will. Ah, there's a cow right there. Here he comes. He's on my tail. Damn. One more bullet than I needed, but never mind. Yeah, I guess I could uh, butcher that cow, but I don't actually think I can fit a whole lot of meat in anyways. Here comes yellow shirt. This has got to be one of the worst dressed zombies ever in this game. At least this guy's got a some sort of a epic coat going on. I think I scared the cow off. He's had enough. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head uh, back, basically, sort of the way we came here. Uh, we're going to head west. Uh, I'm going to go through the town here, though, and see if we can, uh, you know, loot it a little bit. But uh, the plan is to head this time back to the northwest airfield. That's right, the, hot, the hottest spot on the map, probably apart from... Uh, Cherno, and certainly the spot where you get the most experienced players and well-equipped players going. Um, let's just get a little bit organized here. I've got loads. Look at that. I've got seven magazines for the AKM. How awesome is that? Very. Uh, I might just free up my inventory a little bit here. Hmm. A little limited in space. We'll put that empty water bottle in just in case I come across a pump or a well or a lake. Something like that that I can refill it at. Let's have a quick look in here. Okay, so I've got my sniper rifle. Just in case I need it. In the pack, that's taking up a fair bit of the space because primary weapons take up 10 slots in your pack but uh, it gives me basically every single combat situation that I'm likely to face I've now got um, a weapon suited to it. I've got the uh, zombie popping revolver which truth be told I could probably do with a bit more ammo for. I've got uh, the AKM for close to medium range PvP action Let's check out this uh, this shed over here. And I've got the sniper rifle as well, except I don't have any ammunition for that, so I'll have to find some. But uh, once we get ammo for it, we'll be able to do the long range stuff if we need to. So that's pretty epic. I'm really well set up at the moment. There is a couple of other items I'd like to find that, but they are pretty rare. And maybe we'll be able to find them at the Northwest Airfield. So stuff like, uh, you know, night vision goggles would be awesome. Um, I think you can get a range finder as well, which is like binoculars. Is that a dead zombie over there? Probably means that there's someone in the area. Well, it definitely means that, actually. So I have to be super careful because he could be in here. Unless he's moved on, either into the town or to the airfield. I'm just going to look in the windows a bit here. Can't see anyone Up above. I'm just listening. I can't hear anyone. Can't see anyone in the windows there. Just moving as quietly as I possibly can. Alright. Well, this barn or cow shed or whatever it is is clear. Looks like we've got a Winchester down there. Obviously, I don't need that.
I don't think you can open that door. Let's head down the other end here and take a look. I'm mainly after some uh, ACP rounds at the moment for the revolver. Uh, is this... what do we got here? Oh, it's M1911. And we've just got the old Lee Enfield. You do not want to shoot that thing anywhere near zombies. It's like a magnet to them. Got quite a bit of uh, Win Winchester ammo. The rest is tin cans and uh, flares. Oh, here we go. So I think this was... I might actually take the Winchester just to deal with these couple of zombies I'm going to get to save my AKM ammo. Just while it's convenient. We'll probably get five or six zombies here. Like I said, they did nerf the uh, Winchester a little bit and make it louder. Well, it doesn't really sound louder, but I'm sure it uh, has a... I'm sure the zombies can detect it uh, being fired from a greater distance now. Alright, let's grab the AKM back. Make sure we get all the ammo with it. And uh, we're good. I might just double check the zombies here. 